Today I want to show you how to access and use your online client portal for the Absolute Excel VAT Filer software. To access the portal you need to log on to the website www.absoluteexcelvatfiler.co.uk and in the top right hand corner click sign in. When you purchase the software you would have been emailed a username and password for the login details for the portal account so you simply enter these click on sign in and this will then take you into the account. Once logged in, you've got these various options on screen and you can just work your way through these. The account details will just show the contact details that you provided to us at the point of purchase. So you can go through and make amendments if you've got a change of address. You've then also got the option of contacts and this will then show you a list of contacts on the account. When you first purchased the software, you would have been provided a username and a password, which was associated with the primary contact email address that you supplied to us. You can, however, set up additional contacts on the account so that if you've got multiple users of the VIT software, you can each have your own unique username and password for the spreadsheet so that within your submission history, you can see who is making the submissions. Within contacts, it will show you the contacts that have been added, which if you click onto the contact name, you will then see a tab at the top for license, which will show you the username and password for use on the spreadsheet. And you can also set a portal login. So this is then access to the online account. If you wanted to create a new contact, you would click new contact in the top right hand corner, and then you would go through and fill in the contact details. What this will then do is it will email you with a username and password for use on the VAT filer spreadsheet for that individual so that this can then be forwarded on to them so that they can then use that for all future submissions. For GDPR reasons, by default, we don't automatically give any additional contacts a login to the online portal. If you would like this person to receive that, you can click into portal login and you can then set a password for them so that they can then also access the online account. Also within the client portal, you've got the option where you can see the submissions that you've previously made. So you would just click onto submissions and this will then give you a list of any companies and VAT numbers that have been submitted. And you've also got the option where you can click receipt and this will then just access the receipt that you previously would have received at the point of submission. So you can just print this off for your records. You've also from here got the option where you can go into license usage history and this will then give you full details of the licenses on the account and you will also be able to see who purchased the licenses and what licenses have been used by which person in the input by section. The licenses for the VAT software run for 12 months from the date of the first successful submission made online to HMRC. We notify you within 30 days and 14 days prior to the expiry of these licenses. These licenses can then be renewed or additional licenses purchased in multiples of 10 via the online client portal. This is done by going into orders. From this screen, you can see previous orders that have been made and you can also reprint copies of any invoices for previous purchases. And you can also through this screen, click to order a new license and you can then go through the process of ordering the licenses online. They're sold in multiples of 10, so you can just add the quantity that you wish, click next, and then we will show you the EULA, which we would recommend that you read prior to agreeing. And then you click to say agree to terms and conditions, and then you would click confirm order. What this will then do is it will redirect you through to Sage Pay so that you can make a purchase online paying by debit or credit card. Once the payment goes through, we will then email you automatically a VAT invoice and the licenses will be added to your account. Through your account, you've also got access to licenses. So if you click onto that option, it will then just give you a list of the licenses that have been added to the account, along with details of the start and expiry date on these licenses as and when they're activated. You've also through the client portal got access to the comprehensive knowledge base. So if you click onto the knowledge base option, it will then take you into the complete list of queries. You can then search for keywords 
and this will then filter the list and if you click onto it it will then give you details of what causes the error message and also what you need to do to correct the problem within the submission. The last option within the online portal is the download section and this is where you then access the spreadsheet from. So at the point of purchase when you're emailed your username and password for the online portal you would log into your account and then it's from here that you would download the spreadsheet to your computer. So within this section you've got the option of the Windows or the Mac version along with the import sheet if you decide that this is the option that you want to use to create the digital link. We've also got full user guides for each of the sections within this screen as well. And that is the online client portal. If you do have any queries please email our support team at support at absolutetax.co.uk